All right, let's talk about polycount. Now, if your game is not running as well as you would like to, if you're not reaching 60 FPS, it might be because you're pushing too many vertices and polygons to your GPU, right? In any case, this is something that you might want to be able to diagnose. And the easiest way is to reduce the polycount of your assets and see if that substantially increases the performance of your game. Now, how do we go about reducing the polycount of our meshes? Traditionally, you might need to open your 3D software package like Blender or Maya and do the decimate process by yourself and then export this mesh into unity build profile again and have fun now i'm going to show you something that makes your life easier which is basically an api that i found in the github repository from unity and this simple api lets you reduce the vertex count and poly count of your meshes now the key to this and the reason i'm so excited about this is because it's free it is within the editor and it literally takes seconds to try it out now let me give you a quick overview on how you can do this in your own project you need first to install this package in your project and you do this by going into window package manager and in the plus icon you can add a package from a git url then you just need to paste a url that you can find in the video description which includes the unity mesh simplified repository as you can see here once you install this, then you will have access to the API. And I'm going to show you a quick code snippet. So basically I created a mono behavior that I attached to one game object. I assume that this game object will contain a mesh filter, which I will access in order to invoke the mesh simplifier API. Now I need to initialize it, passing the original mesh that I want to reduce or decimate. And then I ask the API to simplify the mesh based on a quality level that ranges between zero and one. Zero being low poly and one being don't touch it leave it as it was this mesh simplification operation will take just a few seconds of your time once this is done you can access the new mesh and then assign it back to the mesh filter as you can notice i am in play mode so i can repeat this operation as many times as i want without really touching the scene right now just before i press the simplify mesh button i want you to pay close attention to how this mesh changes so three two one click yep definitely there's been a change in its visual output it's kind of noticeable but if you didn't see this before then you might not be able to spot the difference however as you can see the mesh filter changed this is a new reference and if i click here we see that the amount of vertices was reduced to 4k of course we can keep doing this over and over and we will degrade the quality of the asset and you see that it sharply dropped to 1.5k now of course this is not ideal for shipping a game but doing this will let you quickly iterate over your profile filing sessions if you do this for several meshes in your game and then you manage to reduce poly count by about let's say 30 to 50 percent then the next profile session will reveal if your game was truly vertex bound or not in that case the wisest choice is to keep reducing the poly count of your assets and you can reduce your poly count by either using this package just being very careful with the visuals and the quality level that you set. Or you can also do it in your 3D software package, right? Like Blender and Maya. Of course, don't use this code in your production game other than just for testing and profiling. All right, I hope this was useful for you. If you want to increase your game performance further, then download my free Unity checklist. Link in the description below. All right, take care.